Good afternoon, everyone. It's a joy to greet you today. This is an exciting and uh, happy occasion as we welcome to this uh, training college the cadets of the Witnesses for Jesus session. We're honored today to have our territorial leaders, Commissioner and Mrs. Will Pratt, with us. They've just returned from the International Leaders Conference in sunny California. Also joining them are the Chief Secretary and Mrs. Uh, Colonel and Mrs. Arthur Waters. We're going to proceed with the official entry of the cadets of the Witnesses for Jesus session. The flags, please. <laughs> Everybody seems that much nearer this time. I have yeah. sort of a memory of them being scattered abroad. warmly greet the cadets from the Alberta Northwest Territories Division with Major June Dwyer, the Divisional Commander. Roy and Eurus Mayo. We have cadets Roy and Eurus Mayo with Heather, Holly, and Michael. 
And now we greet Divisional Commander from British Columbia North Division, Brigadier William Carey, with his cadet. Cadet Ian McDonnell from Prince Rupert. All the way from Prince Rupert. Come and say hello. I don't know, Judge. Thank you. Good to see you. Lovely that you're here. Welcome to the Come again. Nice to see you. Okay, we've, we've held them back. Now we greet cadets from the British Columbia South Division with their divisional commander, Lieutenant Colonel William Kerr. Constable from South Burnaby. <laughs> now we greet cadets from the Ontario Central Division with their divisional commander, Major and Mrs. Ivan McNeely. Commissioner, we have Cadet Danny Broom from Belleville. Hello, Danny. God bless you. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Welcome to the college. Philip and Beverly Franco with Lorianne and Jennifer from Oshawa. Oh, Cadet Gary Scott from Lindsay. And Cadet Neil and Maureen Vos with Jeanette and Jarrett, also from Lindsay. I say Lindsay has done well. Party yeah. is four of their number. We're going to slip. Here we go. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome. It is good Welcome. to have you. Welcome to your new home. Okay. Welcome. 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 We have cadets Brian and Lynn Armstrong from Scarborough with their daughter Jordan. Thank you very much. Good to be here. 
Cadet Pauline Grewer from Matovico. <laughs> Thank you. Jeff and Sandra Ryan from Jackson's Point. Go crazy about this, is that? All the terrible shouting and cheering. And Freeman Stride from Downsview. And now we greet from the Ontario North Division, Division Leaders, Major and Mrs. Boyd Golding, with their cadet. We have Mrs. Cadet Heather Ballantyne and her daughter Catherine, and her husband is away on other duties at so the moment. Idea. So idea. <laughs> okay, Heather. Hello. From the Ontario South Division, with their division leaders, Major and Mrs. Clyde Moore. Glenda Bishop from Stony Creek with Robin and Brienne. Wonderful. Uh, oh, oh <laughs> that's tremendous. There's a lot of practice going into that. <laughs> come and see us up here. Are you going to come up? You have to come up. Yeah, that's right. Then we can check in. And Cadet Judy Totten from Guelph. Now our joy to greet cadets from the Ontario West Division with their divisional leaders, Major and Mrs. Kenneth Holbrook. David and Marcia Bowles with their daughters Matt oh their daughter and son, Matthew and Sarah from Woodstock.
Cadets Gregory and Mary Gerard with Emily, Benjamin, and Annie, all the way from Ridgetown. Now we say bonjour to uh, cadets from the Quebec and Eastern Ontario Division with her leaders, Lieutenant Colonel and Mrs. John Hamm and Lieutenant Colonel and Mrs. Pierre Westfall. Shore in Montreal. And Cadet Gilles Duranceau, also from Montreal. an extra special welcome for a uh, cadet from Quebec, now from Saskatchewan Division, Major Mrs. Herbert Fraser from the wheat fields. We welcome them. <laughs> We have Cadet Michael Heft from Regina Citadel with his wife, Leanne. Oh, she's cool. yeah. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Paul. Good to see you. Leanne has oh, really done you. this before. Oh, <laughs> 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 bless you. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Well, you have to walk around and wash it with you as well. Yes. And now as the sun breaks through, we welcome an international cadet from Southern Africa, accompanied by the divisional leaders from Manitoba, Northwest Ontario, Major Mrs. Baden Marshall. Brian Abramsey from Port Elizabeth in South Africa. God has consistently blessed the church by raising up men and women to give the necessary leadership. History has preserved the contributions of 
people like Martin Luther, John Wesley, John Knox. In our own generation, we've known of a Billy Graham, a Jim Elliott, a Martin Luther King. The Salvation Army has also been the recipient of this kind of gifting from God. And we have known of a William and Catherine Booth, a Samuel Logan Brango, a Frederick Coots, from our own country, a Clarence Wiseman. We have known spiritual giants, giants in leadership. Today I want to say that I really believe that God is still blessing and still honoring our movement in giving to us exceptional leadership. And I believe today we are welcoming such a group. I know that you might think I'm biased, and maybe I am, but I'm the one who has had the opportunity of studying their cases. I'm the one who has often closed my office door because I've been so moved by their stories that God has brought tears to my eyes. The one who has experienced new surges of pride as they've decided to trust when circumstances would dictate otherwise. Or I have had cause to rejoice with them when they have overcome obstacles that would threaten their ever coming to this place. Let me tell you, for some of those, this trip to 2130 Bayview has been very costly. And today they've left home, family, the familiar, jobs and lifestyles with which they have been very comfortable. And I am sure that there are some who would never have been thus persuaded to do any such a thing for any other reason than this one. They have come in answer to a divine call. God has initiated, God has invited, God has insisted that they come. With them they bring their remnants of home, their ideals and hopes, their gifts, their faith, their expertise, their children, and their fears. And today they offer themselves to God and the Salvation Army for the furtherance of the work that began 2,000 years ago by the original 12. Commissioner, it is with a deep sense of gratitude to God and a very keen sense of appreciation for the individuals who make up the session that I proudly present today the witnesses for Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Dear ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, and those in the upper classes privileged to have the upstairs balcony position as well, how you must have influence, I would imagine, I, either influence or affluence, whichever. What an exciting day this is. This is the annual miracle that occurs that stirs our hearts, and uh, he is indeed without emotion who does not feel a strange tug in his throat as we see not only mother and father, but boys and girls coming, even some in their shyness who think it not fit and proper to shake the territorial commander's hand. I can understand their reluctance. Oh, uh, well, this is a great day for all of us, and I'm glad that you're here, and I'm so grateful that your Minster Band is here in those great traditional colors and uprights which betoken their own uprightness of heart as well. It is so good to have you all here today, and our Divisional Headquarters staff too, for we start the Divisional Commanders Conference on Monday. I'm very happy that the international art, internationalism of the Army is seen in the cadets who come to us. What a wonderful thing it is that we have a totally unilingual French-speaking cadet here, who with his colleague, these two will be training separately in Montreal while still linked to the Toronto Training College. That is a great forward stride for us in a territory where often enough in the past there has been very little to encourage us in our work amidst the Francophone community. These are brothers and sisters. But I believe it tokens, it, it betokens uh, a great new future forward stride in our outreach 
two francophone people and I am thankful to Lieutenant Colonel and Mrs. John Hamm uh, for their own work in that field as I am so thankful to all the divisional leaders who make the recruitment of candidateship such a priority. I know that you would want to have me welcome two of our international couples who are going to be with us throughout the weekend. I have been privileged to be alongside them uh, down in California during the last 10 days for an international leadership gathering and I want you to get to know them right away because they're very, very special people. Um, here on my right, and uh, you don't need for me to indicate which they are for they have already developed a far better suntan than ever I did during those days in California. There are Colonel and Mrs. Gilapago Israel. The Colonel is a territorial commander for the Madras and Andhra territory in that vast subcontinent of India. Would you like to welcome Colonel and Mrs. Israel? And we shall be hearing from the Colonel during the meetings and he will be bringing the message at North Toronto Citadel tomorrow morning. Those of you of an international mind and who can escape your core officers, oh, um, eagle eye, perhaps you ought to consider, at least get his permission at any rate. The Colonel received his education in the Salvation Army's Bapatla High School then he entered the training college and was commissioned in 1957 after having studied and graduated in the Andhra Bible College. He was then appointed back to the Army's Bapatla High School and there in time he became the headmaster. He's also served as the Chief Secretary and the Territorial Commander for Northern India and he took up his present responsibilities in 1985. Thank you, Headmaster. Thank you. And then here we have Colonel and Mrs. Edward Cotterill. Colonel Cotterill is the territorial commander for the Ghana territory in that great vast land of Africa. He is an Englishman, and no worse for that, I would say. <laughs> Became an officer from the famous Folkestone Corps, the corps which is the setting for old... Uh, the, the glory, the old core and the glory musical. So he has a rich evangelistic background indeed. His wife is a Scot. No, she's not. Her father was a Scot. You were right. I was right the first time. What an encouragement to know that I was right the first time. Yes, she is the daughter of the well-known, uh, now promoted to glory, Commissioner and Mrs. Lead, L-double-E-D. She is Eva Lead, but entered the Army's training college from the Australia Eastern Territory, and uh, we shall be hearing again from both Colonel and Mrs. Cutterell. They served for 30 years as Corps officers before becoming divisional commanders, then Chief Secretary in East Africa, returned to be divisional commander in Britain, and then now took up their present appointment as territorial commander in Ghana. Whenever I see an occasion like this, my mind immediately goes back to that day recorded in Mark's Gospel, when after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And the same call went to James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. And I tell you, the same call has come to these witnesses for Jesus, as, they, as it came to my friends, the ambassadors, whose return I am delighted to see, and I welcome you as well. It is evidence of the fact of Jesus Christ still at work in the world in the Holy Spirit 
that these young men and women with their children as you've already heard have given up home and family and all the prospects on which they were engaged their own vocation previously and at the call of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit they are here this afternoon that my friends is one of those spiritual miracles that even the hardest cynic has a job to refute I thank God for them and uh, I pray that God is going to use them all I heard the band playing as they marched in that means me that means me and I could not help but wonder if it were not stirring in the mind of some young man or young woman here this afternoon that as they looked at these young people and saw them responding to the call of Christ they heard in their own hearts as well that means me I ought to be there when you heard what an encouraging candidate secretary we have in Captain Catherine Spence you could do no better than seek her out may this be the start of a great cadets welcome weekend and you now join in in the singing of hark the sounds of singing coming on the breeze there are three verses and the York Minster Citadel band will now lead us in the singing of the three verses and then afterwards the chief secretary my good colleague Colonel Arthur Waters will lead us in a prayer of thanksgiving the three verses if you please bandmaster sounds of singing unite our hearts in prayer. O God, gracious and loving Heavenly Father, in whose plan redemption has come from all mankind through the sending of Jesus Christ as the Savior of the world. This afternoon we gather and yes it is difficult for us to express the feelings of our hearts at this time. We're grateful to you for each of the cadets who have been obedient, first of all, to the call to salvation, have experienced that wonderful changing moment when they have become new creatures in Christ Jesus and have begun to follow you. 
and then became keenly aware and perhaps the awareness has come over many years that you had a special plan for them and again they have said yes and surrendering to you have now entered their years of training as Salvation Army officers. We do thank you dear Lord for continuing to bring to this army those who can give leadership Amen. and be the winner of souls Amen. in the present as well as in the future. We thank you for your ever watchful eye over us and for the way in which you guide us each day. Bless, O oh Lord, bless abundantly the cadets of this session and use them for the honor and glory and the extension of your kingdom. We would ask too that this weekend, which has been built on prayer and hard work in planning, will be offered to you for your honor and glory, and that in the meeting tonight and also tomorrow evening, that we will be very much aware of your presence, that the Holy Spirit will speak through the lives of the cadets and others who participate and that others will respond first of all to you as Savior and Lord and will respond also to do your will in their hearts as they follow you. So may your blessing be upon us all and the events of this weekend for we pray it with thanksgiving in Jesus name. Amen. 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 On behalf of the training staff and all the cadets I would like to thank you for your support this afternoon we thank the Lord for the beautiful sunshine that has come to, uh, to support us. To bring us to a close this afternoon, I invite you to join in the course that is on the program, which again brings into focus our worldwide mission to go to the world in Jesus' name and bring men and women and boys and girls to Jesus to claim him as Savior. The band will help us. Let us sing together, please. For the world, for the world, Jesus died, Jesus died, for the world, for the world, and in Jesus died. All the world to say to battle we will go, and we ever will. Our colors boldly show with the trumpet voice filling. So there's salvation for the world. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for the truth of the words we have just sung. We thank you that your gospel assures us that there is indeed salvation for the whole world. Father, we recognize this afternoon that each of us is called to be a witness for Jesus. And so we pray that wherever you place us, you will help us truly to be your disciples. We thank you especially for those who have been called of you to enter into this new session, the Witnesses for Jesus, to be trained and to be equipped by your Spirit to be effective officers in the Salvation Army. We thank you for them. And we pray that as we share this weekend together, we shall have cause to give you the glory over and over again as we bear witness to their testimony and as you speak to our hearts. Thank you for this day. Bless us as we fellowship together and may your blessing be upon all the events of this weekend. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.